Vincent Care is an organisation I feel privileged to work for. We've put an emphasis on helping people develop themselves and helping our clients get confidence and feel part of the community. I didn't have any direction where I wanted to go or how to get help or anything like that and they just sort of gave me the tools with full on counselling, set me up for housing, um, volunteer work here at OCC which is brilliant, uh, that's given me more confidence, you know, I never thought I'd be sitting here. I could not be um, more thankful for that. Every day is very unique. The staff, they're very committed. You know, they're passionate about social justice. They want to make a difference in society. You know, they ultimately they want their clients to get out of homelessness and get out of a crisis state, which is great. What's resonated with me has really been the resilience of the human spirit. I'm really pleased that the narrative around homelessness is changing and that we are now beginning to recognise the importance of dealing with the broader holistic response in terms of complex presenting issues. Clearly front of mind within Vincent Care at the moment is the Osdham House redevelopment. Some of the benefits with moving to the new redevelopment will be firstly that there will be a multi-tiered level of housing there. So now we'll actually have a growth in bed capacity, which will be about 134 beds, and there'll be three tiers of housing. So that'll be crisis, transitional, and independent living units as well. Historically, we've only worked with male clients. Uh, we will actually start working with female clients as well, which will be fantastic for us as a service. We will be introducing a health platform and a much more comprehensive one. So we will actually have a dedicated manager, and then we'll have a suite of health services as well, which will be great. What clients will be able to experience when they come into the facility is an amenity which is conducive to recovery rather than just an institutional response which was appropriate back in the, in the 1950s and 60s but is no longer relevant in, in our society. Over the past uh, 18 months or so we've been working on Compass. Compass is a very significant partnership between Vincent Care and Anglicare Victoria and State Government. It'll mean 200 young people are housed in appropriate accommodation and supported in education and employment for a period of two years to a point we believe that they will be able to be self-sustaining in terms of their contribution to the community. The housing portfolio is now made up of head leasing services, uh, which is based in our central office, uh, along with the tenancy team based out at the Northern Community Hub. The Hume Moreland Area launch site is one of three launch sites that are operating across Victoria at the moment and it's an opportunity for the Department of Health and Human Services, the sector and clients to come together and design and trial some new approaches to addressing homelessness uh, that we haven't tried before. I think historically as a sector we haven't really looked at early intervention and prevention enough and I think the launch site initiatives provide an opportunity to do that. With the increase in the number of people experiencing homelessness in Victoria, there has been a massive need for Vincent Care to change and to adapt and to be more agile in the way we deliver those services to the clients. As part of this big rollout, we're moving to laptops, being able to work outside of the office, being able to work from anywhere. We have implemented new collaboration tools, which include video conferencing, voice conferencing tools, one of the big benefits of uh, the single client record platform is that it's a web-based application uh, which provides great mobility to staff, so if they're working with a client out in the community they'll have access to uh, the client's information as well as uh, vacancy information uh, across the organisation. The capacity to work with people in their own environments on outreach is, is something that is most important to our programs. The mobility that we have now in terms of laptops and iPhones has definitely contributed to more success for my clients. Assertive outreach has been going on for a couple of years and it's been a real eye-opener and just being on their turf, they see us in a different light and they actually open up a lot more. You know, they just sometimes don't stop talking, um, which is a good thing. Um, and they give us a lot more information that they do um, while they're here. In the last 12 months, at Osdham House in particular, we've implemented an engagement framework. That was a complete overhaul of a lot of the ways that we worked with people in residential crisis at Com. Part of that was really looking at what recovery means for people and then looking at how do we assist them to take real ownership of the space. And engagement's a major part of that. A lot of that looked like providing um, groups, activities on a range of spectrums from therapeutic activities to just fun activities. I 
visit Vincent Care once a week providing art therapy service to Osnum Community Centre and also Osnum House. I think when people are released from the pressure to draw a picture that looks um, realistic, they start to learn a lot about themselves and so making the work and just playing with mess, for example, really allows people to start to feel free to know that it's okay. All of that is part of that self-esteem building and learning coping and living skills. There's so many positive outcomes on so many different levels. Osnum Enterprises basically is an employment opportunity for people with disabilities. So we have some 60 people working with us. When I first started, I was really, really negative and I used to put myself down a lot of times and I didn't have that confidence, but now I've looked over the past year and I've got the most wonderful confidence from the supervisors, the employees. We moved into our new premises here in Carrum Downs and that was a very, very big shift. The other challenge, of course, is that we transitioned to the National Disability Insurance Scheme in April of this year. The leadership team spent many months working with not just our supported employees, but their families, their friends and their carers to prepare them for that transition. So getting them used to what that meant for them. We pride ourselves at Vincent Care on ensuring that we offer a safe and welcoming environment, not just for clients, but also our staff. The Vincent Care Reconciliation Action Plan, or the RAP, is all about how Vincent Care responds to past harms done by our government and I guess the ways that services have been complicit and how we can move forward in partnership with the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander community to provide better responses but also to provide more inclusive practice. I think that Vincent Care is a leader in um, going for the rainbow tick. You know I've had experiences with uh, clients that have walked in and been quite um, scared when they've walked in, they're not, they don't know what they're going to come up against um, and they've mentioned that you know if they've seen that rainbow flag there that it, it makes them calm down and, and you know feel like they're welcomed and they can really be themselves and I can't tell you how important it is to be able to be who you are. In March this year we delivered our first professional development day. The theme of that day was diversity and learning in action and how they need to understand that to be able to respond to the diverse needs of our client group. It's important that as the environment evolves, so do our staff. I always say this, but we couldn't do what we do without our volunteers. Our volunteers are sort of the backbone of the organisation. The client volunteer program, they all say how important that routine is to their recovery. We give them an opportunity to do further study. So this year we started a, a coffee program, so we did a barista course. So we now run a coffee service called the O Cafe. Peer support mentoring role is provided on a volunteer basis. It's quite inspirational for people to actually see someone who's actually progressed through Queen House, gone through RLAD and eventually gone on to a peer support mentoring role um, that they can also better themselves ultimately through life. The organisation, each individual program, each individual worker, they're providing opportunities for people to make such positive changes in their life that can be life-altering. And I think it's important for everybody to step back and understand the value of that, you know, and how important that is and the difference that they can make. They have everything here, everything. You know, I could not be um, more thankful. Staff of Vincent's Care, they do a marvellous job and they give their all. They've always got a smile on their face and I know at times it can't be easy. I've never been in such a, such a stable place now than I ever have been. I've got to give Vincent Care some, some of that credit because I know that what Vincent Care's done is it's helped me to build a good life for myself. I hardly ever in my life smile and laugh and uh, when I'm with uh, Vincent Care people there's always something to have a laugh and a joke about. I'd love to work for this service as well, the amount, I'd like to give back the amount that they've given me.